What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're back to doing some Destiny, and more importantly, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 along with Destiny and where Destiny is going to go in the future with its lore. Now on this channel, we really don't talk about lore that often. More often than not, you see stuff that's tips or tricks or helpful tidbits or gameplay and funny moments, things like that, weapon reviews. But we don't often talk about lore, and there's a really good reason for that. The reason is, I never really worry about Destiny's story. Now that's actually really funny because one of my favorite things in gaming leading up to playing Destiny was story. I used to love RPGs, Final Fantasy, other games that had great storytelling. I used to play those suckers, and I played them specifically for the story. But whenever Destiny 1 came around, well, there wasn't really that much story. And whenever I was playing Destiny, I wasn't playing it for its story. I was playing it mainly and 100% for its gameplay. Even whenever Destiny started to evolve its story a little bit, whenever they first started mentioning that they needed to evolve the story, like the Dark Below, I was actually slightly annoyed by the way they were doing the storytelling. I was like, I don't really care what they're trying to say. I don't really care what Eris is trying to say. I just want to go ahead and get on to the gameplay and get my loot. But as Destiny evolved, their storytelling definitely got a little bit better. They at least started making you care about characters. People actually care about Cade. People really enjoy Cade. And in Destiny 2, they absolutely want to make the focus more on story. But even without that, even without that, there are pockets of the Destiny community, and not small pockets, big pockets of the Destiny community that are all about the lore. We have several Destiny gaming channels specifically about the lore. They're lore channels, they go through the grimoire tirelessly, and they make a lot of assumptions and try to figure out how to piece together the Destiny story. The story that you and I, who aren't actually going out and seeking our grimoire cards and reading them off-site, really don't know about. And because of that, there are definitely lore fanatics. So Luke Smith did an interview with PC Gamer just recently, and he talked about lore a little bit and some of those discussions upset people in the Destiny lore community. So we want to talk about that a little bit, and I want to talk about what Destiny 2 is going to do for the lore, and where Destiny as an entire franchise can go from here. Because I'll be honest, they've only got one shot, and they're using their one shot right now. What am I talking about? Wait for just a little bit, and we'll get into what that means. But first, I want to talk about the interview that Luke Smith was giving to PC Gamer Mag. Now there were a lot of questions asked about Destiny 2, and some of them were specifically about the story. Basically all of the loose ends that are out there with the story. Things like the Exo Stranger. Where's the Exo Stranger from? Who in the world was the Exo Stranger talking to? What about Maur Saab? Is she really dead? Things like that. Things of that nature. And I think what really upset the lore community was there was no guarantee that one, any of that was going to be in Destiny 2. In fact, a lot of that seems like it's definitively not going to be in Destiny 2. But they also assumed that this was never going to be talked about again in Destiny. And I can kind of see that. I see that on both sides. So the reason why they think that it's never ever going to be addressed in Destiny ever was because Luke Smith talked about Destiny 1 as pretty much being its own encapsulated universe where it told its own little story and introduced you to some characters and that was basically it where Destiny 2 is going to bring the Destiny story and Destiny universe into full focus and start a story and just continue on down that path maybe not ever delving back into the stuff of Destiny 1. Now that's why you would think it wouldn't ever come up where you would never be able to resolve those loopholes. On the other hand, some of the stuff that Luke Smith talked about like the popularity of Marsov and the popularity and fascination with the Exo Stranger leads you to believe that one, Bungie absolutely knows that people really care about this stuff, and two, because people absolutely care about these characters, you need to do something with them. You need to do something with them. Now Luke talked about the Exo Stranger, him feeling like that story arc was completely wrapped up, which I definitely don't agree with. But let's assume Luke even believes that the Exo Stranger story is just completely wrapped up and it finished by us getting a gun and the Exo Stranger just teleporting away. Well, the problem is, if your community and your fans do not feel like that's a satisfying ending, you have to do something about that. And what I like to think of is, 
you guys have watched the various Marvel movies, I'm sure. You know Agent Coulson, who's in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now? I believe that he was supposed to be in the first Iron Man movie and killed off in that first movie. But the problem is, whenever they were focus testing this, people that were watching the movie and giving their opinions on it really enjoyed the Agent Coulson character. And subsequently, he managed to make his way not only alive through the Iron Man movie, but he made his way into other movies and now has his spin-off in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So you can see this is basically listening to your audience and then taking something that's popular and expanding upon that. So I think you're going to see things like that in the future. I think Marasov, I think we're going to hear about the Exo Stranger again in the future. I do not think they're completely done because if people are fans of things, then you have to do fan service. Whether you think it's done and complete or not, if your fans aren't ready to let it go, then you have no choice but to do it because it's only going to make your fans feel stronger and happier and at the end of the day you definitely want that and I believe Bungie has their ear to the ground and they are well aware of it so I would not write off those characters in Destiny just yet I think they're going to be back now here's what I wanted to talk about by saying Bungie only has one shot at this now what I'm talking about here is the reset that they're doing from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2 and how they're doing it via the story so it's not often that you see story and gameplay lineup, but here it is and here it has to. We saw the same thing in God of War. So in God of War we ended up being a god, and then at the end we were a complete god, then we ended up having to give up our godhood, and we had to reset and do our full power leveling yet again. We're doing the same thing here in Destiny, but we're going to be losing all of our power via Gary. <laughs> Gary's going to take all of our power and reset us, meaning that we have to go and grind for everything all over again. So we're going to use that story element, Gary, into making us have to play the game from scratch yet again. The problem is, where do you go in Destiny 3, Destiny 4, assuming those things are going to come out and, you know, with the success of Destiny 1, the hype for Destiny 2, there is no reason to believe that there will not be a Destiny 3. Something catastrophic would have to happen for there not to be a Destiny 3. So let's assume that there is indeed at least going to be a Destiny 3. What in the world do they do there? Because they've already written this giving up of our power into the story here in Destiny 1. Now each time we have a brand new game, do you expect there to be a brand new boss who's going to be able to steal all our power, destroy all our weapon vaults? No, you really don't because that would be a really cheap and lame type of way to go about resetting your character and that type of story arc would get really, really old. So I'm saying that Bungie only has one shot at this type of reset. What can they do in the future? I'd be really curious about what your opinions are on something like that because again, I don't think that you can replay this similar type of arc in getting your power stolen away. I don't think you can get your power stolen away each and every time you have a brand new game. I think that that might feel a little bit cheap, specifically to our lore community that is really, really into this stuff. I think they would get a little bit bored and tired, despite how great the enemy might be. So we don't often talk about lore in Destiny, but I think it's fun and worth delving into because I know there is a really big community for that, and I absolutely want to hear what your opinions are, especially if you're a big fan of Destiny story. Are you excited for the direction we're going in in Destiny 2? Are you worried about all the loopholes left from Destiny 1? Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your lore, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag Gary sucks.